this program, you will play the hot potato game. But this is not your grandma's version of hot potato. It will use some powerful programming concepts in Sphero. Let's get started by clicking the Program Canvas button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it Hot Potato. Choose the block's program type and select the robot you are using. Similar to some programs you already created, you are going to be tossing Sphero around, so to get the best sensor readings, you can disable stabilization. Also, give a basic instruction at the beginning with the speak block, such as play the hot potato game, or anything you'd like. The last setup is to add a loop forever block so that you can evaluate some conditions over and over again until you stop the program. Hot Potato has some similarities to the toss game that you built in Blocks 2. In the toss game, you had to guess a random animal sound that played in response to each toss, which was detected by the accelerometer sensor block. But now, you will go beyond that basic if-then-else condition. You will increment a variable value so that it counts the number of tosses and creates a concept of expiration, which is the unpredictable game-ending part that makes Hot Potato so fun. The player that catches the potato, or Sphero in this case, when it expires is out, and the game repeats until one player is left. You will create two variables in this program. The first one is the toss variable. This will count the number of tosses detected by the accelerometer. The second variable is the expire variable. This will be the secret random number of tosses that when reach ends the round. Go to Variables and select Create a Variable. Name this first variable Expire and choose the variable type Number. Leave the default value at 0. Create a second variable called Toss. Select Number and leave the default value at 0. You now have the two variables you need to build the hot potato game that can be added to the canvas in the next step. If you ever want to change a variable, long press or right click on the variable and tap Edit Variable. You can also delete a variable after a long press or right click and select Delete Variable. Continue to the next step to write the core game logic with Loop Until. Mm -hmm.